Hi. I'm Thomas Alvanelli, Cisco Networking Academy instructor at uh, Turo University. Today, we will continue working on this topology, on this topology again. And uh, in the previous video, uh, which is published and you can find it uh, in my playlist on YouTube channel. We configured switches, created VLANs, configured spanning tree protocol, changed mode to rapid um, uh, PVST, trunk ports, and much more. Almost all networks in the world use virtual local area networks. And um, in the previous section, we created VLANs, right? But this section details how to configure a router on a stick, I mean, VLAN routing. Okay, I'll, uh, yeah, this, this topology, this scenario was uh, configured in previous session. Today, as you see here, you can see in this scenario that the router is not in the center. Okay, it's connected to the switch. So, and as you see, it has single physical connection. A router on a stick is one of the ways to allow routing between VLANs. Here we have created two VLANs. So this means that the router helps us uh, to make communication between different VLANs. Okay. So Router on a stick is a technique to connect a router with a single physical link to a switch and perform IP routing between VLANs. From the switch's perspective, from the switch's perspective, this physical link must be configured as a trunk port allowing all VLANs that are going to be routed, okay? From router's perspective, this physical interface is re um, uh, represented as a multiple virtual sub-interfaces, one for each VLAN. And IP address from each VLAN is then configured on each sub-interface and then the router performs IP routing between connected networks, between connected uh, VLANs. When we creating, uh, when we create uh, sub-interfaces, you can pick up any number, this is up to you. Now you have to decide which number to pick up. But my suggestion to pick a matching number with VLAN number, okay? So uh, it will be much easier to understand. Okay. This was the introdu uh, introduction and uh, just brief explanation how router and stick is working. Now, Let's start configuration router on a stick. And we'll start from this switch. Okay. Let me open this switch. Going command line interface. And as I told you just now, this interface, this switch port, which is fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 must be in trunk mode, okay? So we are going to global configuration modes, 
interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 and we'll type switch port mode trunk okay so now we configure this port this is trunk port okay now let's jump to the router router going to global configuration modes host name let's assign host name host name r1 okay now let's go into gig interface 0 slash 0 and immediately to bring this interface up because this interface is uh, administratively down uh, typing no shutdown we brought this interface up it's uh, now on and operational now to create sub interface see the sub interface for each vlan we have to type interface gig zero slash zero that 10 means that 10 means that we are creating sub interface 10 for vlan 10 okay and look here the mode is changed now sub interface okay now from here we have to encapsulate encapsulation that one q and we know that that one q is um, a trunking encapsulation a protocol we have two protocols isl and uh, that one q and isl is cisco's proprietary protocol but we don't use here uh, and that one q is uh, <clears throat> an open protocol all vendors support that one q and that one q has less uh, header this is just for byte uh, tag so that one q and number of vlan and this is 10 10 means that uh, this sub interface is for vlan 10 and hit enter okay now this is done now we have to assign ip address ip address address and um, for vlan 10 let's use let's use one last usable address in um, uh, from 192.68 uh, uh, 168.1.0's network 192.168.1.54 that 54 is last usable address in this network to 55 5.255.255.0 and we have done for vlan 10 we have done now let's configure let's create first sub interface 20 for vlan 20 okay created and let's encapsulate and this will be for vlan 20 right same encapsulation protocol that one q and 20 20 stands for v that that is vlan okay and it's the same ip address and this will be this will be 2.0 network 
So let's change here and let's use last usable. Let's assign last usable IP address. Okay, we have done. We have uh, assigned and uh, let's save the configuration. Okay, we saved and let's check now if he if he created and now if before in previous topology we could not communicate from a green network to blue network now we can because we configured router and a stick we encapsulated we created two sub interfaces here the router for each VLAN and now those computers from different VLANs can communicate let's check if we can pink 192 168.2 and dot three. Let's check. Okay, We're waiting. Press timeout. It should work. It should work. Uh, two the three, two the three. Why is not pingable? Let's see. Two the three. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right uh is the reason why because obviously here we don't have default gateway okay sure here should be default gateway 192 168 that one to 54 because the pc could not find the default gateway okay and same thing here and here should be default gateway 192, 168, that two, that 254. Okay. So now we can we can communicate. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, it should be fine now. Yeah, now it's pingable. Now we have uh, connection. Now we can communicate from uh, a green network to blue network. Okay, so that's it. I hope this video tutorial is uh, useful and help you to understand how to configure router on a stick. If you have questions, you can write it below and uh, I'll uh, reply as soon as I uh, can. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.